in King Media in association with Box Row. Uh, for the first time, John Doherty, super middleweight. I don't know whether to refer you to, you're not a prospect, you're a contender now, aren't you, John? Yeah, I'm far from a prospect now. Um, I'm a contender and um, I just can't wait to get back in the ring now and um, start getting uh, the ball rolling again. You know what I mean? I'm just saying my sky out there, so um, hopefully um, soon we get a fight date and uh, get the ball rolling. Definitely, man. Obviously, you you made a lot of noise when you started off. You was fighting the matchroom shows. You was knocking everybody out, and then you obviously had that slight blip with uh, Jack Cullen. Um, obviously, you've had time to reflect on that, and you've you know been at the Steel City gym for a while now as well. So, if I was to say to you, what are the couple of key things name out to me that you've probably added to your game since that defeat? I'm just back to a really basic a boxing that there. What I had an amateur um, when I went down to the matchroom gym, I was always knocking everyone out, and I was thinking I was um, too strong for everyone. I was going to knock everyone out basically, and. Uh, Jack Collin took me there a different way, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I've come down here, Brant's brought me back to my boxing, and um, I've, I've learnt my feet, my feet went a lot more better, I'm not more sturdy with my feet. Um, I'm just a more better round fighter now, um, my boxing brain. I'm just, um, I'm not looking to tear up all the time. Obviously, I've got that in my arsenal. If, if I do have to go toe to toe, I can do the job, but um, I'm more like back to my boxing now, and um, you'll see that in the next few fights. Definitely, man. You've obviously just mentioned that you've signed up with uh, a boxer. Um, obviously, I've never spoken to you before on camera, so I just wanted to ask you, like, you know, the the whole matchroom thing. Uh, how did that? How was that part? And was it at the back of the defeat, or was there any discussions, or was it just go your own way? Just basically, um, I never even spoke to them. Um, I just left. Um, I was basically in a quick box and uh, never even spoke to no one after it, and uh, not even any hair or nothing. Just Tony Sims and that there, um, and. I never heard nothing. Generally, I've never even spoke to them. I just uh, obviously want my new management. Management spoke to them, and they didn't want to. After about, I think it was like five months after, they just didn't want to do nothing with me. So um, basically, it was after the defeat. I uh, they dropped me. Yeah, basically that. And obviously, as a, as a young guy, who obviously was blowing everybody away, fighting live on TV. How was that for you to take? Because that's not easy to take, is it? It's a big kick in the nuts, isn't it? Just after a defeat as well. It was a bit weird to be fair. Yeah. Um, Eddie Helm was dropping the rage, and what me it was like when I was knocking everyone out. And when I took one slight defeat, you could see I was unfit and I like, blowed out. I can say that one million percent. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, and I, I learned a lot from that fight. And um, I'm glad the way things happened. Uh, Matchroom dropped me, and um, obviously I parted away from Tony Sims and that there. So I'm, I'm glad um, I've moved here, and um, you, you'll see big adjustments. But um, yeah, it was just weird how they just dropped me like that there off one defeat. I know it was against Jack Cotton. I wasn't a good a top uh, operator, but he was a seasoned pro, and um, they just dropped me. It was just, it was. It was hard to take, like I was going to, well, I was quitting boxing, do you know what I mean? And then when I heard that there, it was just putting me, yeah, put me in a bad place. So um, I'm back on the, the horizon now and I've signed my new deal with Sky, so I'm, um, I'm happy and I'm um, looking forward to the future. Definitely, man. And Sky, I've got a lot of super middleweights. You know, there's Zach Chelly, who had a good win recently. Jermaine Brown's probably still going to be working with him. Uh, Brad Ree, I don't know if he's a middleweight or super middleweight. There's loads of guys there. Yeah, there's a few of them actually doing some rounds with Brad Ree. I think he's a middleweight. Uh, big, big boy, so. Uh, yeah, I done a few rounds at Mill, and it was a good spa. Um, it was a you would pay money to watch that spa. It was a good spa. And so um, yeah, and Zach actually obviously I boxed twice as amateur, and um, um, it was a very good fight between me and him. And um, obviously that's a fight we're eyeing up. Um, I don't know if he's wanting to move on. I think he's got a British title shot, and I think he's going to bypass that. I don't know, but um, I'm looking to go for the British title. Like so, uh, I'm still my eyes is on that there. So I think Mike Heffron does one up there. Um, so get this fight out of the way, next fight, and uh, maybe I have two fights and then in for the British title. Um, so I'm still looking forward to getting a fight with that. Loads of options. Uh, what, what happened in those actually amateur fights? I, I didn't know you fought each other in the amateurs. Yeah, I beat them twice. Um, the first fight was very close. Um, it was in England. Uh, two of them was in England, actually. And then um, I boxed in the GB Championships. Um, Scott, uh, yeah, And then Scotland beat England, the second one, but I beat him wide the second one. Um, his style is a bit, still a bit the same, but um, yeah, he's a good kid and um, he's strong. So, um, but I think he'll play into my hands that way because of him. He goes with his strength that way. But um, his last fight wasn't very impressive. You know I mean, he wasn't very um, good. His last fight, I know everyone was running raging about him, but I didn't see nothing different to what he's been doing. Obviously, he won the fight and it was a good win against Jermaine Brown. He's unbeaten, but um, I can see a lot of things I can take out of his uh, game. Um, but probably if I win the British title. I'll, we could see that fight happening, you know what I mean? So we'll see what happens. Definitely, man. And uh, obviously, you're with Boxer, and I don't know if this is correct or not, but you're down to fight Diego Costa, who's an 8-0. I know you had some issues with the scan uh, a while ago, so he got pulled out of the show. Is it Diego Costa you're fighting next? Yeah, that, that's the one I'm fighting next, but it's not on that show no more. It's been pushed back to another card. I know what card it is, but it's not being announced yet, so I can't really say too much. But, um, yeah, that's the fight I'm going to have. We'll, we'll have a laugh. I think we're fighting for 
uh, my belt, so I'm um, just waiting on my belt getting issued just now. And um, yeah, when the show gets announced, that fight will be on, on the on the card as well. So um, I'm looking forward to that fight. That's a fight I really am looking forward to. And um, obviously the big puncher, um, but he's a big puncher where he where he fights Jeremy. I mean, he's never knocked out. Uh, he's never fought no one at my level. And I'm not saying just now you can look at me and say I'm not top level just now, but I know I am. I know how I've been sparring in the gym and how my t t style's changed. I just know my style is completely all night wrong for him. And uh, really looking forward to that fight. When that fight gets probably announced, everyone will think that's a 50-50 a fight, but I just know I'm a level above. But um, it's still a hard fight and I've got to be switched on for it. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Well, I kind of know because I was here again yesterday, so I kind of know what show that's on and if it is. And I'm, I'm happy for you because it's, it's a great uh, platform for you to fight on and uh, a lot of fans to fight in front of. Definitely, it'll be a good card. And, um, uh, it's actually worked out better. Obviously, we've both spoken on the 30th, but uh, my training away, my gra grandma's away, so uh, he's doing holiday. So I'm not going to take no stupid steps as I've done with uh, Tony Sims. I'm not going to take it, no. When my training's not there, do you know what I mean? So uh, we said just push it back a bit. We was going to fight in the Florida Marker card, but now we're fighting um, not so long after. So I'm, uh, I'm, that's one fight that I'm really looking forward to. I've been in camp for 15 weeks, so I've been fighting, I was supposed to fight in Coventry the week before that. I've been, I've been in camp a long time, so um, I'm in a good place just now and I'm really fit, so um, I'm looking forward to it. And I just want the fans to try and understand, obviously you're from Scotland, you're absolutely miles away from home, you're stopping here, you know, Monday to Friday in a hotel. What, what's that like, you know, I mean, because it can't be easy, it obviously costs it, for, it, it's expensive, and being away from your family and being in a completely different city, and I don't know how people find your accent as well. It's completely, it's hard, you know what I mean? I know everyone says pro boxing, you're on telly and that there. Yeah, but they don't know the sacrifices we're doing. I know they're saying you're bringing, you're going down to Sheffield for training. Um, I don't know GB as well, so I was going from Scotland to um, down to Sheffield when I was on GB as well. So it's just pretty much the same. But um, I'm bringing obviously my kids down with me. I'm uh, wife who's coming down with me uh, one week, and then uh, my brother's coming down with me next week. So it's a one week, miss a week with her. Uh, but it's hard, and um, sometimes you can just go and train and think, you know, what, what's the point in this? Especially when fights are falling through. I suppose to fight in the Huey Fury card. And it all fell through. So, and, and two, like three weeks before that, I've been in camp a long time, and I'm absolutely fortunate. I know everyone doesn't see that there; they just see us on television, what we're doing. But um, boxing is a hard life, and um, you've got to think twice of doing it because you've got, if you, you can't do no half measures. And that's what I was doing. My last fight, one of my last fight with Jack Cullen, I was doing half measures, and they got found out. So um, now we've just got to be, you've got to be fully focused on uh, on training, and, and that's what I've done. I've done my, obviously I was down in London, and um, but now I'm focused on training, and I, I won't be doing no slip ups. The, the dream is, you know, to, to make these sacrifices for them, six-figure paydays, man. I mean, it's all worth it. Oh, aye, that's that's definitely. Obviously, we've got some good uh, talent in our gym with Sonny Edwards, Dalton Smith. We've got uh, Florian Marker in there. We've got Nico Levers. We've got Jade Boston. We've got uh, I gym flo uh, flying in the moment. Do you know what I mean? So um, I'm just looking forward to the um, the future for the whole gym, not just myself. See how far our gym can go because I know how good good Grant Grant is. You know what I mean? And he's got Dalton. Obviously, everyone's on a, on the thing about Dalton. Dalton's a very good fighter. So. Um, I'm just looking forward to it and um, we'll see how our gym goes in the next few years. I can see a few British champions in our gym in the next few years. Definitely, I agree with you, man. Uh, and last thing I just want to ask you about, John, before I let you go, I'm sure you saw all the uh, Instagram live the other day. You didn't make it to the gym. I bet you wish you was here. Oh, yeah, I was in Scotland. Um, they text me on the, on the group. We've got a group on the, uh, <laughs> in the gym and uh, they text me saying, we're going down, I bet he's not here. And then I looked on Junaid's, well, Junaid was live and he was standing with him. So, yeah, I watched it and... Um, I wish it was here. Yeah, I would have been down here if I was um, if I was staying here one million percent. But it was it was funny and um, yeah, the, um, he got his respect anyway, didn't he? So um, it was a good laugh. I don't think I took it too serious anyway, and um, had a good laugh at the end of it. So um, yeah, it was good. Good man, John. Well, I wish you all the best, mate, and uh, look forward to your fight announcement and uh, all the best for your career. Cheers, pal. Thanks very much.